John Hub here with a very special video. I am going to do a remembrance. Today is 9 11. Today, September 11th, 23 years ago at 8 14. At that moment, whenever the Twin Towers was first attacked at 8.14 on September 11th. My son, he was 15 months old. We was having a speech evaluation on him. And the speech evaluator was there with his paperwork, laptop. We'd been discussing for a few minutes different little questionnaires. My brother comes running into the living room and says that the Twin Towers has been attacked. So we turned on, we turned on the TV with just sheer shock and silence and disbelief to come to find out that somebody flew a plane into the Twin Tower. This was the first plane. As we was watching and they was talking about the, the events that was going on, we watched live as the second plane crashes into the building. That just put even more horror and shock into all of us. With disbelief in our eyes, we just couldn't believe what just happened. And as they was talking and as we was watching, we knew we wasn't going to be able to finish the evaluation. So he had rescheduled to come back another day. Because just the sheer shock, we just wasn't able to continue. Because how can you discuss anything after seeing something like this? Seeing the fire trucks going crazy trying to get the fire out. Hearing the panic on the news. You just can't stop what you're doing and then restart back. And as later on, as the events continued along, I hear about another plane that crashed into the Pentagon. Wasn't as many people killed, but still, the terrorists tried to attack Washington, D.C. They did attack the Pentagon. And then they ended up come find out, not long after that, another plane crashes into an open field because of a terrorist attack. Another terrorist hijacking. At this point in time, we really, we know that somebody just declared war on us. And how do you react to all this? You try to go about your day. Well, I went to the bank that evening. And the bank teller that I had, her boss pulled her aside. And they went into the office. And the bank teller that I had had to leave work because she just broke down the tears. Come to find out, she just had dinner with one of the pilots that flew the plane that crashed into the tower. One of the two that crashed into the tower. She was personal friends with that pilot. And just had dinner with that pilot and his fam family just a couple of days before this event. So you can imagine how upset she was. And I mean, you can't hide this from people. Her boss came and finished the transaction with me and explained to everybody about the situation that she had to break the news to the worker that she had a message for her that her friend, the pilot, was dead because of the attack. So this event might have happened in New York. 
this is what happened from my eyes. This is why I can never forget what happened on September 11th at 8.14 in the morning when the first plane crashed. There's really no words that I can put in to the sorrow of what happened. And to remember what happened is just scary and horrifying. But what's even scarier to know, here we are 23 years later, if the same thing happened today, instead of us becoming the United States of America, we're so divided, I don't know if we would be united. Because the terrorists that attacked claimed they was part of a Muslim clan. And from then after that, Muslims got it bad. My cousin was married to a Muslim at the time. He owned a store. And people just attacked anybody and everybody with the title Muslim. Because the people that attacked the Twin Towers said they was Muslims don't necessarily mean that they was true Muslims. They was part of the Islamic belief, yes. But they was such radical they was willing to kill themselves to kill everybody. Now we have more people claiming that they're Muslims in America and there's so many people that's not Muslims. If an attack happened today, what would happen to America? We would be so divided that we would have war on each other. And we're supposed to be united states of America. And we're so divided in this country right now, I don't know if we would unite after that. Us as Christians need to be praying hard. There was a big revival that happened for a very short time. There was more people going to church, more people praying to God, more people joining the military than ever. It's been many years before, since we had some a big revival that had happened. And a lot of people have joined the military because it's like, you can't mess with us. We're coming after you. And now here we are 23 years later. You're lucky to get some, a lot of people, to, these young people to enroll in the military or even support the military. They don't want to support the police officer in New York. Police officers died trying to save people. Firefighters died trying to save people. EMS died trying to save people. And the problem is, everybody just wants to recognize the military troops that we lost. We lost a lot of people after that because of the war, but that's war. But today we need to be in remembrance of police officer who tried to save people. We need to remember the firefighters who tried to save the people. We need to remember the EMS workers that tried to save the workers. And the ones that are not even mentioned that was none of the category. That you know there was regular people in the crowd that was probably down there at the bottom at the ground zero that tried to help save people. America, if you need to remember, you can pull this stuff back up on YouTube. Don't forget. And that's my 9-11 remembrance this is my video of my memory and this is my thoughts everybody have ourselves a wonderful blessed day 
and never forget. But the biggest thing is, never forget. This nation was once upon a time pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. One nation under God, individual with liberty and justice for all. Anybody remember the pledge? Think about it. This nation was built under God morals. I can't say to everybody that signed the Declaration of Independence was Christian or not. I kind of wasn't back in the 1700s. But what I can tell you, they was under godly morals. Christian or not, godly morals. Independence. George Washington and all of our history people, I ain't even gonna bother trying to go into names. Fought for the freedom of this country. When 9-11 happened, a lot of people remembered that. It's only been 23 years. It's two generations. If I remember right, a generation is 10 years. It's only been two generations, 23 years ago. Come on, people. This was even, I mean, just think about it. Everybody have a wonderful, blessed day. Until the next video.